29 September 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhattata Madhuban Sweet children, be very cautious of bad company because by keeping bad company, you perform wrong actions and you forget to remember the father. Question, on the basis of which manners can you children make your stage progress? Answer, if you ever make a mistake, you should have the manners to ask the father to forgive you. You should say to the father, I am sorry. There should not be the slightest trace of body consciousness and thus. It is through this that your stage will continue to progress. The basis of your stage of ascent is keeping your heart honest with the father. Never consider yourselves to be very clever. Everyone can make mistakes because as yet no one has become complete. Song We have to follow the path where we may fall and therefore we have to be cautious. Om Shanti Something or other has to be said and so it's good to say Om Shanti. Souls have to be told of their original religion. The father says, I am peaceful and I reside in the land of peace. Originally, your souls and your original religion is peace. The whole world is crying out for peace. But no one knows what peace is. They think that there will be peace when all the fighting and quarreling that is going on stops. However, that kind of peace is of no use. Some husbands and wives quarrel at home, whereas others don't. That is not peace. Peace is totally distinct from that. Peace is the original religion of souls. In fact, the father's original religion is also peace. Who is the father of souls? The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. What is his religion? His religion is also peace. The Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, resides in the land of peace. We are also residents of the land of peace. Tell anyone who comes, the religion of oneself is peace. Is it not? Originally, you are residents of that place. And you have come here to play your parts. Each part definitely has to be played through a body. In fact, there is no need to go into a jungle etc. for peace. Souls know their original religion. At night, when souls became tired, they became bodiless and peaceful. At night, there is dead silence. Night starts as soon as dawn starts. That night and day are limited, whereas this night and day are unlimited. Having played your parts of 84 boats, your souls have become tired. This is why your souls say that you now want to return to the land of peace. The father also says, remember the land of peace and the land of happiness. You will not have remembrance while you are in the land of happiness. It is in the land of sorrow and the land of peacelessness that you have remembrance. Therefore. The father now says, Children, the play is now about to end. You have to return home. Then, for you, there will be peace as well as happiness. The father says, I'm your guide. I have come to take you back on your true pilgrimage. Is there only the one guide to the land of peace? Or do his children also become guides? Nothing can be accomplished by just one. This is such a huge army. Everyone's face is turned towards the land of peace. That land is far beyond. It is not far to travel to Badrinath or Amarnath. In fact, it is very easy to go there. Acha, Is it easier to go to the subtle region or the soul world or is it easier to go to Amarnath and Badrinath? Are the subtle region 
and the soul world mirror than Amarnath and Badrinath? The subtle region and the soul world seems to be very far away, but it doesn't take very long to go there. It's just a matter of a second. You simply have to remember them with your intellects. It's nothing new to go on a physical pilgrimage. You have been going on those pilgrimages for half a cycle. Only the one father comes and takes you on this spiritual pilgrimage. You are the long lost and now found children. It is you who have to show the path to others. You can go to the temples and explain when the deities rule their kingdom, who made them worthy of worship. You understand that you were worthy of worship and that you have now become worshippers. Therefore, the status of a worshipper is lower than the status of being worthy of worship. The Father makes you worthy of worship. You are deities worthy of worship and you have now become worshippers. Now renounce worshipping and become worthy of worship again. Maya creates many obstacles. Innocent ones are assaulted so much. No one is prevented from going to other pilgrimage places, temples or spiritual gatherings. Here, Maya causes you a great deal of distress whilst you are making effort to change from a worshipper to being worthy of worship. You fall again and again. Mostly, you fall into the depth of lust. The father says, don't become dirty. Be very careful about this. The worst thing is to climb onto the pyre of lust and drown in the ocean of poison. The father says, children, lust is the greatest enemy. This is why you must never even think about enlarging in vice. It is through this that you become dirty. Don't think that the poison is removed from the intellects of all those who come here. When they see one another, some experience storms within themselves to become dirty. The father says, never become dirty. Don't chase after anyone. Never make effort to fall into vice. The father continues to save you from that. There is the struggle of falling down and taking care not to fall again. Maya creates many storms. There was a very good, obedient, faithful and serviceable child who was slapped so hard by Maya that he was completely finished. He died. That was in the drama. Maya makes you dirty. It is Maya, not the father, that causes you sorrow for half a cycle. They falsely blame God, saying that God gave happiness and sorrow. They do not consider God to be the Father. How could the Supreme Soul cause sorrow for anyone? If the Supreme Soul were to cause sorrow, human beings would cause even greater sorrow for each other. The Father explains, It is you who create such karmic accounts for yourselves. You perform wrong actions when you come under the influence of bad company and you forget the father. He is ordinary and so children forget him. The father would only give very good teachings. However, you forget them. The father explains, you don't have complete yoga. Don't think of yourselves as someone who only has to give lectures. There is also the story of a pandit. He told others that they would be able to go across the river by saying Ram, Ram. However, he himself could not go across it. He asked for a boat to take him across. He himself couldn't do what he told others to do. Things should not simply be said. They have to be done as well. Your words, deeds and behavior should all be equal. This is why. You must not forget the father. Baba makes you into those who never forget nor make mistakes. The father says, if you make a mistake, come and ask for forgiveness and say, I am sorry. For instance, if Shibaba says, this is your mistake, then say, 
Okay. Baba, please forgive me. Some good children don't even have the manners to do this. They make a huge mistake. So, they should at least ask to be forgiven. However, they consider themselves to be very clever. If you commit a sin, you must ask for forgiveness. Otherwise, that sin will continue to increase. Your intellect yoga with the father needs to be very strong. Although some do give very good lectures, no one has yet become complete. Until the end, you will continue to fall and try to save yourselves. You say, Baba, I made this mistake. Please forgive me. O oh, merciful one, please forgive me. On the path of devotion, they continue to ask for forgiveness throughout the day. They pray to the Father, Please forgive me. Do not let Dharam Raj punish me. This is why a great deal of caution is needed. Do not think that you have become sixth and celestial degrees full. No. Many children write to Baba and say that they have many impure dreams and that they are not able to remember Baba. You should not consider yourselves to be clever. It is only at the end that you will become 16 celestial degrees full. At this time, you are still eclipsed. You have yet to reach that complete stage. While sitting here, you will continue to fly because souls are tired at the end of the cycle. They are pulled to go home. They are in a hurry to go home quickly, but they first have to become worthy. Some are happy to travel around and wear a jewelry, etc. Then, when they became unhappy, they say, I left Baba unnecessarily. Acha, in that case, have courage and learn something. You have to uplift even those who defame you, but it should not be that they spoil your head even more. Maya makes you fall and the father uplifts you. The destination is very high and this whole pilgrimage is of your intellect's yoga. It takes time to make effort. The aim is very easy. You claim a right to liberation and life in a second. Once you say Baba, how can you then forget him? If you have the faith that you are claiming your inheritance of heaven from Baba, why do you fall? Why do you not stay in remembrance and remain cautious? Even very good children forget. They do even more their service. Service is incognito and this service is also incognito. What do people of the world know? If an evil spirit or an impure soul enters someone, that too causes damage. A soul that is caught by Maya is able to enter another. Even though you have knowledge, none of you has yet become complete. One defect or another still remains. And so, you should have fear. We have to follow Baba Srimad. If instead of following Srimad, you do something corrupt, your status would be destroyed and you would have to experience a great deal of punishment. Severe punishment for any bad actions has to be ensured here. This is why you have to make effort to reach your karmati stage. You have to remain very honest with Baba. All of you have a connection with Sri Baba. All the centers belong to Sri Baba. So where did your center come from? You belong to Sri Baba. This world university belongs to the Father. It is the godly world university. To have such thoughts as this is my center means to die. So many fall by saying, mine, mine. Everything belongs to Sri Baba. You say, Baba, this body, mind and wealth all belongs to you. Therefore, Baba says, the kingdom of heaven is all yours. You receive such a large reward. And what do you give? Before dying, some give their belongings to a karni ghor, means a special Brahman priest. They donate it all to them while they are still alive. When people see that someone is a hopeless case, they make him donate to charity. The father says, children, donate everything while alive. Those are old bodies. 
you souls belong to me you play your parts through your bodies and they have now become old now belong to me again and your souls and your bodies will back become clean both content to be cleansed simultaneously souls that have become impure now have to be purified you will become pure by having yoga with me when you have yoga you go into the stage of ascent when you don't have yoga you remain in the stage of descent you have to be interested in doing service you should not ask if you should go on service bhavadan understands that you are not interested in serving you should be interested in doing service with your thoughts words and deeds if not with your thoughts then serve with your words or deeds you should keep yourself busy doing one type of service or another and you will receive the return of that those who act without being asked are called deities those who act after being told are human beings then if they don't act even after being told they are completely useless the more service you do the more the reward you will receive shri baba asks children do i have hands shri baba sits in thus one's body while writing a letter he would not sit on a bull all day long when a bull gets tired its eyes begin to water here there is no question of tears flowing thus one has to do service he says to you children remember me alone shri baba says this and this soul also listens this is very easy the unlimited father is the creator of heaven baba comes to create heaven and to have hell destroyed the mahabharat war is standing ahead there are the yadavas the karavas and the pandavas you understand that this play is about to end baba has come to take us back there is a huge burden of sins on your heads if you don't have remembrance you cannot become an emperor or empress this is raj yoga the yoga to become rulers not the yoga to become subjects you become subjects if you don't have full yoga some say baba i will claim my full inheritance from you however you need to have great interest in doing service you can write and ask baba what will i become if i leave my body now it is only at the end that you can become complete now you are still incomplete you have to check your own stage and ask yourselves to what extent do i do bhagavat service to what extent am i faithful and obedient how desperate am i to do service and give someone the donation of life poor people are very unhappy this is the one and only satguru and he has come to take us back home to the land of peace and the land of happiness those gurus cannot call themselves the world father or the world teacher they simply call themselves world gurus this one is the only world father teacher and guru you know that the father has come therefore claim your full inheritance from the father it is not good to be body conscious become soul conscious and remember the father and your bodies will become free from disease there is purity happiness peace and wealth there is limitless wealth there here even you have to struggle to feed yourselves acha to the sweetest be loved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father baptada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point become a spiritual guide and go on a true pilgrimage and also enable others to do so be very cautious about where your entrix yoga is linked take great care of yourselves second point 
remain true to the father, make effort to become karmatid, hand everything over to the father while you are alive so that it can be used in a worthwhile way. Blessing, may you be a constant yogi and server who does service through your behavior and face. Explanation, constantly remain aware that you are the handful out of multi-millions who know the father and have attained him. Maintain this happiness and your face will become a mobile service center. Baptada considers every child to be so worthy that everyone will continue to receive the father's introduction from your cheerful faces. Therefore, by doing the service of giving the father's introduction while walking and moving around, while eating and drinking, you will easily become a constant yogi and server. Slogan Those who remain constantly unshakable and immovable like Angad cannot be shaken by the enemy Maya. Aum Shanti